we're back again mm. so just responding to a comment that was left underneath one of my videos that I released recently the video was called why I only let rooms so yeah I only rent out rooms to people I don't ever rent out my entire property to anybody I only rent out rooms because human beings have a tendency to get comfortable more than comfortable over comfortable over a period of time when they're renting out a fixed abode you see when you rent out rooms you're allowed to access the property at any time obviously not in their rooms yeah? you're not allowed to gain access to their rooms whenever you feel like it but you can go in the communal areas and that you can show your face at any time they can't say nothing to you i actually had a tenant that said to me oh do you mind letting us know when you come down i said what for he said oh because my wife is uh, cooking in the kitchen sometimes i said no 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 the only time I'll let you know that I'm coming down is if obviously I need to speak to you about something or I need to gain emergency access to your room. I'm not phoning you to let you know that I'm coming down. I turn up when I want. So anyway, um, yeah, in terms of emergencies and that, that would be the only time I would just turn up and go into someone's room. I actually had that the other day as well. One of my tenants, I phoned him up. He didn't answer and then I phoned up the other tenant to see where he was just to ask him about something and he said, you know what, yeah, I was going to phone you because I ain't seen my neighbour tenant in about three days or whatever, innit? and his shoes haven't moved and his shoes are always downstairs. So I'm like, yeah? Anyway, man, I had to go down to the property here, that, and I'm thinking, shit, you never know. Obviously, more than likely, it won't happen to me, but there is some landlord who has a tenant that has died in their room, Yeah few and far in between and that but someone somewhere on planet earth is dying in their room as we fucking speak as you watch this video unfortunately and that in it or someone somewhere in some room has committed suicide and that so some landlord is gonna have to deal with some coroner's court or some death inquest or something like that so i was thinking shit i tried to phone the guy it went straight to gift gaff mobile um the the neighbor tenant ain't seen him for three days and i'm thinking fuck i could find a dead body went to the property and that um, obviously I knocked the door No answer and that And I went in slowly with the key Opened up the door and that But yeah he went in And then he did contact me In about 30 minutes And say ah oh, He's far away outside of Northampton I don't even know where the hell he was in it. But um, Yeah That's the only time obviously I rent I, I would enter people's rooms Without asking them In an emergency Situation and that Like obviously I believe That someone Something's happened to someone in it. But anyway that video that I released, why I only let out rooms and that, uh, I was left a comment underneath that video. And basically one of my subscribers said that his stepdad was renting out a property and some South Korean people took it over, renting out the property, and they started turning it into a grow house. They were growing weed and that. Now, obviously, he said the people then were South Korean and that, which is very specific, but I don't know. I'm stereotyping now. But the people them that are Oriental looking, that do the weed thing, they're usually Vietnamese. But I ain't saying that a man's not wrong. If I'm, a man was very specific and he said that they were South Korean and that, to my knowledge, in, in London and that, and England and that, the people them that do the grow thing, the Oriental people, they're always Vietnamese, but you never know. Maybe somewhere on planet Earth, there's some South Korean people them that are doing this thing as well. Innit? But to my knowledge, it's Vietnamese people that grow yards, uh, grow weed in yards. Innit? Vietnamese people are known for two things to me, innit? Yeah? Doing nails, yeah, with the nail salons and that. So you think it's Chinese people? No, it's Vietnamese people. Doing up the nail salons and that and growing weed and that. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Isn't it? So anyway, he said to me in the comment, how do I vet the people then? Like, what do I look for or something like that? And do you know what? It's not a case of me looking for anything. It's more about me disqualifying people for certain things, isn't it? So the first thing I do, obviously, like I said to you like a thousand times and that, the first thing I say to the people then, or at least within five, ten minutes of them coming to view the room is, if you fail to pay the rent, so rent's on, rent needs to be on time every time. If you fail to pay the rent, I'll serve you a notice, you have to leave. If you're afraid to say that as a landlord, but you've already lost fam, you've already lost fam. And what I started doing as well, before the people then even turned up to the viewing, yeah? What I used to do is, I, I would speak to them on the phone, because what was happening was, I would have people come to view the room. They know the room is worth, um, they know the room costs 450 a month and obviously you have to put down the same amount as a deposit. It's all there on the gum tree ad and that. They would turn up and say, oh, can I just give you a hundred pound and that? Nah, nah, nah. So what I used to say to people them on the phone, because obviously they would be like, oh, can I contact you or I'll take their number and I'll phone them and I'll say to them, have you got 900 available to put down or whatever in it? And some of them will say no on that, innit? Yeah? Or some of them will say, oh, I've only got 250 plus the 450 and that. I say, listen, if you ain't got the 900, 
don't even bother come. I have people put down the phone on me. Cool. I'm not wasting my time driving over there for some people to come and try to haggle me and that. This is not a fucking fish market, my brother, innit? Or my sister. It was Gyal that was trying it as well. Because people don't fucking read, blood. It says 450 plus 450. What don't you get about that? This is not like some um, place where you can try and haggle people and that, innit? So anyway, some people then would put down the phone, innit? Yeah, that's cool. So first of all, man will phone them up and tell them, look, you need to have this much available and that. That's a filtering process because certain people will put down the phone on me. Then when they turn up, I told them, listen, payment needs to be on time, whatever in it. Yeah, that's a filtering process. I, I guarantee you, I probably had some people who, when I've said that to them, I, well, I've seen it. I've seen it. When I've said to them, it's 450 plus 450. If you fail to pay the rent, I'll serve you your notice. You have to leave. I see the look on their face. Some of them will smirk and laugh. Some of them will look kind of shocked and that. And some of those people, I never heard from them again. I don't know if they didn't like the room or it was my attitude. I don't give a fuck, blood. You see me? I'd rather have a room that's empty than have someone who's going to be taking the piss. See, that's salt. That's like rubbing salt in the rooms. Imagine someone is living in the yard for free and not paying fucking rent, blood. That's the biggest violation ever, blood. So you know what? I'd rather have an empty room and pay that out of my pocket than some pussy all living for free and I have to pay it out of my pocket, blood. So, yeah, those are the first two things. I phone them up. I'll tell them, listen, this is the amount of money you need to have. Don't bother come if you ain't got the peas, blood. Then second, obviously, when they turn out, I tell them it's 450 plus 450, whatever in it, yeah? You need to be able to pay 900 up front on the day that we exchange the contracts and I'll hand over the keys and that. Not 470, not, not, not 700, not 620, and then when you get the key, no, 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 no. All the money on the same day, no confusion, blood. If you want to put down a £100 deposit to secure the room, that's a non-refundable deposit, that's up to you, innit? But when you get the key and you sign the contract on the same day, I need the full amount of money, innit? So anyway, that's it. Um, I've got some other points that I need to make and that. So obviously I said, first of all, I phone them up and tell them how much they need to pay because some people don't read. I know people don't read. I'll put single occupancy only and people will come. I had an Indian family come, man, woman and child. I had a man and a woman turn up or I'll have a guy just turn up and say, yeah, it's for him and his girlfriend. That No, it's a single occupancy only. So you know what I started doing? Forget about even typing single occupancy only in the actual description of that because people don't read. I used to put a picture. So I'll put a picture of the, the room, maybe a picture of the bathroom. And then the third picture in, it will say single occupancy only. That's the picture, you know. The picture is, is words, blood. Because people, they're more likely to look at pictures than read the whole entire description. So I used to put that, I used to put single occupancy only as a picture. I just created it using the paint app on my um, on my laptop and that. So there's certain types of people. When I come across them, I'm like, yeah, I don't want this dickhead in my yard, innit? So obviously, if a man smokes weed or if a person smokes cigarettes, I don't really want no one who smokes cigarettes in my yard, yeah? You, you definitely are not smoking on the premises, yeah? I tell some of that because some tenants have lied to me in the past and said, oh, um, I don't smoke and that. And then I come to find out that they do smoke, innit? And I've told them, blood, all right. You smoke, you've hit your hair now. You've been here for two months, innit, yeah? Don't make me catch you. No, None of this smoking it out of the window and blowing. No, you need to go downstairs. If I come in the room and smoke a cigarette, we're going to have a problem, innit? Because it says on the description, no smokers. So definitely no cigarette smokers and no weed smokers. I don't want that smell coming into any of my properties and that. Because the people them who might be renting the property also, they might not want to smell that. More than likely, they don't want to smell that. I've got a guy in my flat right now. He told me he left his other property to come to mine because there was people underneath smoking weed and the smell was going into his his his, um, his room. That's one thing that I'm always conscious of, you know, because obviously man rent rooms and that. And obviously I've got multiple different properties. One day I'm probably going to have some neighbour um, some neighbor that's smoking weed going into my tenant's room and that's going to be a problem. Because me, I'm the type of man, I'm not just going to not say nothing. So, yeah. So, yeah, people that smoke weed, I don't want nothing to do with them. I don't want them in my yard. I don't want them nowhere near me. I don't hang around with people that smoke weed. If you smoke weed, you cannot be my friend, yeah? So, um, if a person's like, you know, like, I like quiet, humble people. I'm not saying don't be yourself, but I've had a couple man phone me up. And then them white man there from construction site, Jack the Lad and that, blood. Don't. I had one, I don't even know what he was. Was he? Nah, I think he was white or something. I don't even know what the fuck he was. Some idiot. Um, I think he was from London originally and that And he's like, yeah, 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 bruv, yeah, bruv And like, ch trying to like, bruv, me and you know, bridges He told me in the flat, yeah, 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 you know I'm not going to lie to you, I did some time in jail These idiots in Northampton always have to tell me 
that they're the jail man, them and that, that they've been to jail, blood. I don't care. I never asked you. When I go to the tenants' houses for my job, yeah, when I'm working, they always let me know that they've been to jail. So anyway, this guy was like, yeah, man, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I've done a little bit of, uh, of a stretch and that, in prison and that. And he was just trying to, he was too familiar, he was trying to get too friendly with man, innit? And I was thinking, nah, fuck this guy, I don't really want this guy to move in. But luckily, he phoned me up or texted me and said, you know what, I don't think the room's for me, innit? And I was like, you know what, I was thinking, I was just going to tell him, yo, the room's not available no more, innit? So, yeah, them type of, like, Jack the Lad type of guys, and I'm, I don't want them renting my room, innit? I want quiet, humble people, innit, yeah? I don't really care what your profession is, but it's not it's not about the profession, innit? It's the type of person. I don't give a fuck if you was a banker or something like that. If you're one of them loud, obnoxious people, I don't want you in my property, innit? So, and talking about professions and that, you have to be working. I don't give a fuck if you get DSA, NAD, or whatever all these stupid things are. I'm, I'm not interested in anyone that gets any sort of benefit, blood. I don't want no one who's just sitting in the house all day long doing nothing. I want people that are working, people that have got stuff to lose and that. I'm not interested in no one that's not working. So if people have benefits and that, people are in receipt of benefits. I'm not saying that they don't get a little universal credit to top up and that, but even still... I don't even want, I, I want you to be able to afford the rent fully yourself. You don't need no government handouts and that. But what does that say about you? I don't know no banker or stockbroker or electrician that gets universal credit. Blood. So, yeah, I don't want no one who is not employed. The, the people that need to be employed, but I don't want no unemployed people in my yard. Um, what's next on the list? Um, yeah, no guarantors. So I remember there was one white girl that phoned me up. Well, I mean, she sounded like she was white, innit? This was a few years back. I remember I was literally outside my mum's yard and she must have called me up or I think she messaged me on Gumtree, we exchanged numbers and that, whatever, innit? Yeah, I phoned her. She was like, oh, the first thing she said to me, oh, do you accept guarantors? I'm like, nah, 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 nah. See, the fact that she's asking if I accept guarantors means that she knows at some point she's going to default on her rental payments, yeah? I don't want no one that needs a guarantor, yeah? So I told her, no. No, 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 I don't want no guarantor. Yeah? Why, why, why the hell do you need a guarantor? Because you know that more than likely you're not going to be able to afford the rent after a certain amount of period of time, innit? And yeah, I don't want no, like I said, no jack the lads, none of them type of man there. I've had man, I've spoken to him on the phone, on the phone I'm thinking, nah, I don't even want this person in my yard. I want no road use as well. Yeah, just because I sound like a road I don't give a fuck, blood. Yeah, I'm not. Um, renting a room to myself So I can be a certain way But that doesn't mean that they can be a certain way So um, yeah no road use or nothing like that man So there's not It's not what I kind of look for I don't look for certain people I just put these certain filters in place And it disqualifies people By default Obviously you need to be registered to live in this country as well I've had man turn up and that African man chatting to them And I said to them yeah so have you got any proof of your stay like you legal to stay and a man's just look to the floor and say ah from when a man says that or does that i just know you ain't got no legal stay in this country blood um and the man said yeah oh yeah um yeah 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 we contact the home office of hmrc and we get a share call some nonsense and i never heard from them man there again never heard from them so them man they weren't legal them man they weren't legit to stay in this country but so it's not necessarily what i look for and i mean what i do look for if you want to say if we could say like oh no obviously professional people quiet people people that don't smoke weed people that are paying rent on time and that i don't use credit checks in that because i don't i don't think i need a credit check um obviously a credit reference and a credit check is a good indicator of whether or not this person is reliable with money you see if you ever want to check and find out to see how responsible someone is with money just do a credit check if they've had if they be, if they're over the age of like i don't know 20 or whatever in it that's enough time for them to fuck up their credit and that 25 years old that's enough time to fuck up their credit if they got a good credit score for the last five years and that they're responsible with money and if their credit score is bad at some point they was very irresponsible with money and i just don't get it i don't understand how you could be irresponsible with money i've been responsible with money my whole entire life blood from a child blood from 13 years old you know buying and selling crispin drinks in school blood so if you're 20 five six 29, 30 years old, but you're irresponsible with money. You're, you, you, in some respect, have let a 13-year-old show you up, blood. Idiot thing, blood. How can you not know that you need to live below your means? How can you not know that, oh, if you don't really have the money for it or you're going to be struggling to make ends meet and that, you need to say no to that luxury, blood. How can a 13-year-old child know better than you, blood? 
but um yeah so so that that's what it is the first thing i do is i'll phone them up if i remember in it i'll phone them up and say to them listen you need to have 900 pound available you need to have 450 plus another 450 so you can move in if you don't have the money don't bother like i said people used to put down the phone on man then when they get here i'll say i'll say to them again it's 450 plus 450 if you fail to pay the rent i'll serve you a notice and you have to leave some people i never heard from them again in it that's cool obviously it says no smokers no weed ting none of that no crap pipe heroin injecting fucking mdma ketamine idiots in my yard um yeah i don't want no one on no benefits and that i don't want no one that uses a guarantor and no road use and no jack the lads and i don't know man i don't care if you're an electrician or a man that works on the construction site but it's the personality blood i don't want them loud obnoxious people in it just shut the fuck up man and live quiet man what i'm to you but yeah man so that's it for today man so that's basically i'm not even gonna say what i look for but that's how i disqualify people in it and i've been all right so far been doing this landlord thing for like <laughs> Obviously, I've had my, my first property for uh, for six years and that. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing the landlord thing for six years, but not a straight six years. Let's say I've had a solid year and a half off of being a landlord. And in that time, I've had a lot of people pass through, man. And, well, I, I ain't no guy. Like, <laughs> I should take that back. I ain't had no no one pass through me. I ain't no train that you get me get run on, man, innit? But you understand what I'm saying? I had a lot of people pass through my yards and that. Uh, and um, I ain't had no one not pay rent. I had I think one person that was a day late, and that's just because they forgot because they never set up a standing order in it. But that's it for today, man. Stay wise. Done, no.